Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm with TGN Games, guys, and today I'm back again. Hell yeah, guys, I'm back in Rift Plains of Talara. Now, uh, I'm quickly here. You're going to notice that I'm at the starting screen for a new character, and uh, that's not an accident. I have decided that I'm going to create a new type of character for this uh, beta here, and uh, I'm going to run uh, him or her all the way up to... I guess the level cap is at 30, I think, and uh, I'm going to try and get that done as fast as I can, uh, and at the same time try and make videos. So, uh, it is going to be a bit of a race against time, but uh, we'll see what I can do. I'll get I'll get pretty far, I suspect, and uh, hopefully I can get you some uh, higher level content as well. So anyways, guys, quickly here, uh, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you might want to skip ahead about 60 seconds, because I'm just going to show you... Real quickly here, what the different races and the different uh, character customization customization options are here. So I'm a Methosian. Uh, let's see here. And okay, so just hovering over the different racial abilities. In a previous video I made, uh, I kind of, I guess you might say I I didn't spend a lot of time with those racial abilities. And I and I got one guy who said that you know I that was noobish of me and. Uh, I do apologize for that. I didn't mean to be uh, <laughs> super noobish. Uh, I just really wanted to uh, get into the game, and at the time, the racial abilities were very limited. Uh, I believe it was only like plus 20% to nature damage or plus 20% resistance to fire damage and stuff like that. They really hadn't uh, fleshed them out yet at that point. Uh, this is beta 5, not beta 4 now, so... Uh, in beta 5, yeah, that looks pretty hot, I know, guys, uh, yeah, what's up? Uh, in beta 5, uh, it looks like they've got a little bit more there. They've got Theodore's Will, for example, and, uh, so the racial abilities are coming along. Um, I do believe they're a little bit better from last time. Let's do some random stuff here, guys. You can see here there's all sorts of sliders and all sorts of colors that you can, uh, choose for your eyes, your height, your face, your bloody eyebrows. I don't know, um... These chicks aren't all that bad looking for the most part. A couple of them I would uh, have to get drunk to hang out with, if you know what I mean. But uh, all in all, let's do a random character. No, that's a bad name. Um, no, it's Big C. Let's do Big C. But uh, yeah, no. Anyways, guys, so uh, I'm going to go with this. Just get this over with. But uh, yeah, keep in mind that you can customize the hell out of your character, which is kind of cool. Game also has really good cutscenes, and it has a very good voice actor. Uh, one of the guys, the guy who does the guy parts, is good. the The female voice actor, I don't think, is quite as good, and that's not uh, because I'm uh, sexist or anything like that. I just found the uh, the guy who did the voice acting did a lot better job. He sounds like the guy out of Indictus, to be honest. So, um, who knows? Anyways, here we go. We're at the beginning, and Messenger of the Vigil has an exclamation mark above his or her head. I can't tell. It's, I don't know if that's a boy or a girl. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever that is. It's an angel. Maybe it's uh, asexual. It has no sex whatsoever. Um, but anyways, yeah. The standard stuff, guys. If you played an MMORPG, yeah, you know what's going on here. Um, this guy looks kind of depressed, and he's just looking out over the, uh, the city, but he's okay. So, whatever. I won't have to pull him back from the ledge. Sparkly stuff like that, guys. You know, if you played World of Warcraft or any other MMORPG, like I keep repeating myself, uh, yeah, it means what it means. You can actually click on it, and uh, you can either take it if it's an item, or you can read it if it's a book like that. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Now, you're going to notice one thing, that uh, I've started off as a mage. That's There's four major classes, and I can't recall the name that they, they give them. Um... There's like, okay, what is this? Uh, choose one of these. Okay, so I get to choose one of, uh, uh, I guess they're like subclasses, but it's like mage, there's a priest, or no, pardon me, there's mage, there's cleric, there's warrior, and there's rogue, I believe. Those are the four. And then from there, you actually can subdivide out and get up to three subclasses as you move up in levels. Now, I've decided that I want to do like a dark mage type in this one here. So I'm glossing over uh, and hovering over a couple of different options here. Dominator, okay. Sounds like a awesome chick. Chloromancer, okay. That's weird because chloroform is bad. <laughs> Stormcaller. Shotcaller. Okay, no, that didn't even work. Uh, and yeah, Necromancer. So um, I kind of like the Necromancy Warlock 
and maybe one other one all mixed together. I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but we're going to go with... Uh, should I do necromancy? Yes, I'm a necromancer, guys. Why am I that? Because uh, I think uh, necromancy gives you a pet like a warlock does in WoW, for example, and your pet can just go mess some stuff up. Uh, but let's take a look here. I'm on Hallowed Hill, and I gained a soul. Up until this point, guys, I was soulless. So, I couldn't play the blues, that's for sure. Uh, Fane Doran is gonna give me a quest. Okay, you're gonna get 180 XP, you get 5 silver. Oh, and then this one, you have gotta kill 6 of these defilers and get some healing potions. If you play a mage, uh, or, or, um, yeah, a mage and all of its subclasses, healing potions, I suspect, will come in handy. Because you only get cloth armor, so... Smarten up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's find my objective. Now, you're going to see that I'm inside of my mini-map at the top right there. Uh, it looks like I'm in some sort of yellow circle. And that would be correct. It's uh, basically, you know, questing for dummies. Oh, man. <laughs> I almost got hit with an artillery strike. Awesome. Okay, so I beat that guy down with my, uh, with my staff there. That's not the right way to do things. I'm just testing things out here, guys. But anyways, I'm going to call in my uh, Skeletal Horror. And that is not a name that I would... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I'm just watching this guy chop up this post. That's a little weird. Um, okay, here we go. Let's do it. All right, firing my Plague Bolt. One, spamming one. And I sent in my Skeletal Horror to do the dirty work, guys. Uh, if you're a hunter in World of Warcraft, you can press Control One, and that will send in your uh, that will send in an attack on your uh, little skeletal horror or pet guy there. So that's kind of for the win. So that top bar, you'll see at the bottom, there's two action bars. The one is yours. Uh, it's the bottom one, the bigger one, and then the top one is command you can give your pet. Um, I kind of like the way they did that, to be honest. And to access the uh, pet or minion or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you just hold control down and that will uh, access their theirs as well. I mean, you can also hover over it with your mouse and click away, but not necessary. <laughs> you don't want to be a clicker. I found that out. Uh, people always bitch about people that click, so don't be a clicker. All right, so Plague Bolt firing. And how many of these guys have I killed? I've killed four of these douches. i got to get one more down. Let's do this. Going to give him a old stick in the head. One more, one more. Yeah, a little bit of silver and a candle stub. Not sure what the candle stub's all about, but hey, whatever, man. It's what they got, it's what they got. Alright, firing the plague bolt, sending in the minion. Okay, guys, pretty standard stuff. Not telling anything you don't already probably know. Okay, so let's take a look here. Methusian spirit. I don't know. I haven't been looting all of the guys. I, I think I missed one or two. Um... I don't know what candle stubs are going to do, but my suspicion is not all that much. Um, so we're going to turn in that quest here to Fane Doran. That's all right. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, we get our potion. Okay, okay. let's look at that. Uh, you did notice I quickly showed you what was the charge there. Uh, charge is basically um, your ability to do all... It, it allows you to do sorts of cool combos with, uh, with magic. I think because I'm still so bloody low level that uh, that's not going to happen. But uh, as we move up, I will be uh, testing it out and demonstrating it, assuming I'm correct. So, um, and I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to be. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, other things, guys, if you've played this game and you're farther ahead in it than me, or if you've played it as a mage, uh, things like that, uh, keep in mind, guys, I'm not an authority on this game. In fact, I'm far from it. This is a beta test. I'm just having some fun, and uh, I'm trying to be informative and entertaining, but at the same time, uh, I realize my limitations, so please leave me any questions or comments or suggestions on the uh, the wall here, uh, or not on the wall, pardon me, but, you know, in, you know, in the comments section on YouTube. Uh, I want to become a better player. I want to help educate and inform uh, people that are considering playing the game as well as I can, so please leave any comments, uh, especially the constructive one, guys. A uh, couple guys were like, I'm a new, blah, 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 but you know what, guys, I know that. I'm, I'm new to the game, and <laughs> so be it, right? So, anyways, moving on. Pressing N, you're going to notice you get, like, your talent tree, and it's quite literally a friggin' tree, which to me is kind of a win. I don't know. I don't see a... Uh, 
Okay, Death's Ally increases damage of you and your pet's death-based abilities, and Deadly Plague. Plague Bolter, 20% to apply an additional stack. My suspicion is that's the way to go, guys. Uh, Plague Bolt is my number one charger. Oh, and look at this. I get a Necrosis. I get a new spell. If that's not for the win, nothing is. Okay, save and exit, and you're going to notice on my main toolbar, or action bar, pardon me, <laughs> that I've got Necrosis now, number two there. It's, uh, um, it's now on the bar, so hell yeah. And I've also put my uh, Mana Potions on the bar as well, because they're within <coughs> close access, so that when I start dying, because, you know, somebody got in a little too close to me, and started tuning on me, because I got, uh, you know, crappy armor on, then yeah. That's going to come in handy. So let's do this. All right, control one, make the attack. And Plague Bolt. Come on. Oh, slow. Now I'm going to try it. All right, Plague Bolt. I'm going to start testing out Necrosis here pretty soon here, guys. But uh, uh, basically, I want to kill these guys. Okay, I got my imbued sword from that. I got to get four of those. And I got one of those. Kill those corrupted knights. So a two for one. One stone, two birds. Okay, Plague Bolt time. Plague Bolt again. Okay, guys, so the Plague Bolt is kind of, uh, it's kind of sweet. Then I'm going to go do a Necrosis. Oh, I didn't see if that, how hard that hit. Ah, I should have been paying attention. My bad. Um, my gut feel right now is, uh, my class feels a little bit OP, to be totally honest. At this stage, I realize it's beta, but I feel kind of OP here, guys. Um, with my pet doing a pretty good amount of damage on these poor guys, plus me it on with magical attacks I think I can beat down pretty much anything at this point um, it's quite impressive uh, and by the way guys if you do get into the beta uh, yeah it there's a lot of chat going on and it's all comparisons about World of Warcraft compared to uh, this game compared to when World of Warcraft came out their beta how stable it was or wasn't their beta all this stuff guys it's crazy um, and, uh, yeah, it just seems like everybody has to compare and, and uh, compete against WoW. And while I realize that, you know, WoW is a competitor, uh, it really seems to dominate the living hell um, out of uh, the chat. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of annoying. Uh, guys, just play the game for what it is. And, you know, some comparisons are what they are. Uh, you're going to notice here I'm, I'm hicking up. Uh, I got a hiccup here, sorry. Uh, guys, it looks like the... Oh man, it looks like the server is down. Shit. Okay, don't worry about it, guys. It's Big CM with TGN Games. I'm going to let them restart it and I'll be right back.